Hey, today I'm going to do my very first pattern review. We're going to review my newest apron pattern, the Church Ladies Apron Pattern. So if that is something that you're interested in, please subscribe um, on my channel if you're not familiar with that. Um, I really just talk about my life as a wifepreneur. So I talk about my business adventures and giving tips on being an online ESL teacher, but I also like to talk about things that I do around the house, working from home. And one of those is my craft of sewing. So I would welcome you to subscribe. I want to thank all of my new subscribers to my channel. Thank you so much. I enjoy reading your comments and interacting with you in the comment section below and also on my Instagram handles. So I've included those down below in the description box. But let's jump into my very first pattern review. And I've written down all my notes because I did not want for, to forget anything about this pattern. So I'm going to pop up the picture of the apron that I made from the Church Ladies Apron Pattern as well as I'm going to include the link that I found on Amazon. Because when I purchased this, I purchased it from a quilt shop in Texas, um, one of those mom and pop quilt shops. And so uh, I did make sure that Amazon had it. You might check your local quilt shop. I don't know if they would have that or not, um, but you can find it on Amazon. So I'm gonna go through uh, first some of the things that um, I did not like about the pattern and I will have to preface it's really a personal preference so it's just from my personal preference it's not really a flaw in the pattern so I want to preface that and then we'll go into the pros and future ideas of how I'm going to maybe use this in the future so as you can already tell I'm going to be doing this again so it's not um, a pattern that I did not like I did like it so First of all, some of the cons. Um, the pattern pieces weren't numbered, and again, that's a personal preference. The reason why that I wish that they would have done that is because um, if I'm going to be reusing it again, I want to make sure that I've included all of them in my envelope. Uh, you know how sometimes it's the paper, in which I appreciate the paper pattern, but sometimes the smaller pieces can be um, easily and accidentally thrown away. So uh, I wish that the pattern pieces were actually numbered. Again, personal preference. I also wish that the instructions were lined out similar to how a, um, a larger company's pattern instructions were. They were in this pattern, let me get this out here. I should have had this done before, but um, as you can tell, everything fits snugly in here. So the pattern instructions were written around the pattern that you had to cut. And so what you're left with when you're putting the pattern together is the instructions like this. So I just wish it was more um, of a booklet form. I know this is a way for them to save money and I appreciate that, but just again, a personal preference. I wish that it would have been more in columns um, because when I was putting the pattern together and sewing it, I had to kind of refine or find again where I was in the pattern. Whereas if I had it more in a booklet form, um, it would have been easier for me. Again, my personal preference. So those are really only the two cons that I had about this pattern. So let's get into the pros about the Church Ladies Apron pattern. So what I liked is that it was a very easy pattern to cut out and construct. You only need two yards of fabric. So it's a reversible fabric uh, apron. So you could choose a yard for the front and a yard of fabric for the back. Um, I chose to use a stash and I had exactly two yards of the fabric that I chose for my college day apron. And so it worked out perfectly. I wanted to uh, use that as a way to get familiar with this pattern so that I can be thinking of ideas in the future. So you just need two one yard pieces of fabric if you're going to do it reversible. You don't have to do it reversible. You could leave it plain on the back, but I chose to finish it out on the back with the same fabric. So um, you can be very creative. It's very versatile. Uh, I could see doing the pop, uh, the pockets, I should say. I'm not sure why I wanted to say popcorn, because I don't eat popcorn. <laughs> the pop, 
I'm here I go again. The pockets in a solid color if I'm going to do a print. Um, I also could see doing a complimentary color on the back, especially for the holidays. I'm thinking if you're in a family like mine that likes to cook for uh, the you know winter holidays, um, I could see doing two different types of fabric. I could see you embroidering um, at the top of it or even on the pockets if you had a solid color. I could even see you doing... Um, you know, having a print, but then doing a solid uh, complementary color for the ties rather than making it the same print. I mean, there are so many ideas that you could use with this uh, apron pattern. Um, it just goes endless. Um, I found that uh, the majority of this apron could be constructed with a serger. It didn't really necessarily notate that. It kind of alluded to it. But what I did is I went back in, and the places that I could have used a serger, I marked it with my pencil right there. Uh, that would have really made this really quick. You really could complete this in a day. It took me longer um, because I was watching <laughs> the football game while I was making it. And uh, it was uh, when I was making it, it was OU playing Nebraska. And so that had not that game had not been played in a long time those two teams meeting up so i was very clued to the television and forgot where i was in the pattern and had to go back through so um, it did take me a little longer but you could make it in a day um I, what i need to do is that you can adjust the neck piece to make it longer or shorter depending on your height and where you'd like your aprons to to sit on you um, so that was really great. Uh, what I probably would do is I would probably shorten up the ties in the back. They were very long for me, um, but that can be easily adjusted for you as well. I think that overall I would give this pattern, you know, five spools of thread, which is good. Um, it's very easy. I can see this as a great gift, you know, maybe even a wedding gift, someone going in, put, put it with a cookbook and, you know, some of the things from their registry, that would be a lot of fun with, you know, the new name that they are acquiring in their uh, marriage. I could see this um, as a great Christmas gift. I mean, if you have a large family that gets together and you bake your pies or your cookies or whatever your Christmas candies are, um, that would be a, little, a lot of fun to have everybody in the same print, but then do an embroidery of each person's name on there. I think that would be a lot of fun. You could take a picture, um, and there's endless possibilities. So I really thought that this pattern was great. Um, again, I will share the Amazon link below so that if you are interested in making an apron like this, you can find it easily. But you also might check your local quilt store to see if it has it as well. So I'm really happy with this. I'm looking forward to making more aprons. I mean, I've really been into aprons because I found some of my grandmother's aprons and um, she was just a wonderful entrepreneur herself. Um, in fact, that is how, you know, their family survived during uh, those rough years. Um, so um, maybe I got my little entrepreneurial bug from her, but she sewed and she took care of her family with four young children. And uh, so when I found that, I just have been wearing those um, hmm, since she's no longer with us. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. So uh, I've just really been enjoying wearing my aprons as I'm cooking because I just kind of, you know, think about her when I do that. I also found an apron that my mother made. Um, when she was in high school taking home ex, you know, which they don't offer anymore. <laughs> and so that's been fun. So that kind of rejuvenated my love for aprons. And so um, I plan to be making more of these. I can, I'm thinking about making um, eventually a Christmas one and then uh, probably one for January uh, with snowmen on it, maybe a Valentine's one. I mean, the, there's so many possibilities. And so this pattern would be a great choice to make an apron. You can make it in one day. So if you have made this, please comment below. Uh, if you do make it in the future, you can follow me on Instagram. I would love to see your finished product. And you can also leave it here in the comments below. So until next time, maybe I'll do another pattern review. Hopefully you'll like that. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And until next time, happy sewing.